G'day guys, Clint here with Adam Hompus and we are at the front of his recently constructed boutique garden. Uh, just gonna have a quick chat with Adam about the process that he went through to build this garden and obviously um, the design is a separate, yeah, separate thing. Yeah, Paul Pritchard did the design, so. So tell me about how this came about. Why why are you, why are you building gardens in, in Carlton Gardens? What was the idea? And donating the time, yeah, yeah. because it's a good achievement for the business. I yep. think um, the business has got to a point where I could um, sustain the, the cost to be able to do this. Yep. Um, a really good milestone, and especially for the crew as well. Yep. They were really, really engaged to get in here and do that. So uh, it took eight days to build. Um, not, everything is tied into itself because yep. we can't obviously put a footing in the ground. So all the steel structure and everything is tied back into the bracing. But uh, it was one of those things that we just thought, I oh, sorry, just thought that definitely wanted to tick it off yep. um, and do it. And it's something I'd definitely do again. So have you done this before? No, never. Yep. Never. This is the first time one that we've done. Yep. Paul came with a design and said, would you like to build it? Give it a shot. Uh, a week out before we started, we're like, what are we doing? But um, we're wrapped how it has turned out. We're really proud of it. And if money wasn't an object, would you go bigger? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. I'd happily go bigger. Yep. Um, obviously, I believe that your business probably should be at a certain point before yep. you can absorb all those type of extra costs yeah. that you don't get paid yeah. back for. Yeah. Um, but obviously Paul and I have already spoken last night amongst some drinks, what would I guess do next time? Um, so yeah, we can definitely go bigger and better, I believe with this as well. So this is your first one, obviously that'll give you an opportunity to start talking to sponsors now and saying, look, we've done one. Yeah, you know, sponsorship obviously helps make up a, a big part of it Huge if you get a lot of, of sponsors. So everything was sponsored pretty much. We got uh, Radial Timbers, gave us a great deal on the, on the screening. Yep. Eco Outdoor, Water Features Direct, um, all the beautiful trades. Yep. Um, the plants are all obviously lent yep. to us. Because they'll go back. That goes yep. back. Yep. So everything's just covered with mulch yep. from the pots. Yep. Um, yeah, so the, part of the excitement of it was also approaching the sponsors and sending them emails saying, this is what we're doing. Would you be interested? Yep. Everything down to the... the subframe which Bunnings supplied yep. to us at a really good rate too so uh, it was exciting getting those people on board and we start getting the emails saying yeah we'd love to be involved and yep. yeah so did you start building in a warehouse somewhere and then at my warehouse we had everything stacked up there we painted all the screen boards yep. um, we cut all of the steel to size and welded it all on site yep. so um, everything else was made here got everything delivered and then Went up from there. And so was this in a competition? Like, it was. is this row? Yeah, so yep. I think there's five or so beautiful gardens called in the boutique garden competition. Yep. Um, so that got, obviously gets judged by a selection of people. Yep. Uh, and yeah, like we're really, really proud to have taken out the award of third, pl third place. So yep. it was a really, really good So it's not golds and silvers out here, it's first, second, third? Oh, I think there is, sorry, first first gold, second silver, yeah. third bronze. Yeah. So yeah, if we've got yeah. the bronze yeah. in this, which we're yeah. really happy about, so we can- Be first garden? First garden we're wrapped. Yeah. We're really, really happy. It's, you know, award winning now in this, and like, That's I mean, awesome. the amount of people that come through and the feedback has been just awesome. Yeah. Like the Instagram, the amount of likes, it's already starting to come That's through. Cool. So the exposure is why I wanted to do this. Yeah. And uh, I'd like to hope that it's actually going to start paying off in terms of the marketing. Well, well, I think sure. we, we talked to a lot of people last night. I think it's going to take three or so years for you to start to see some of the reward for the work. Yeah. Um, we were just talking to Joel about how Nathan Burkett was using photos from his yeah, garden for yeah, years, yeah. you know, in marketing. So, oh, that's cool. I really appreciate you um, no, having pleasure. a chat to us about this. Um, obviously, you've got to get off to an appointment, so we'll let you go. We do, all um, the best. And we'll have a chat to Thank Paul. you very much. No worries, thanks, man. Thank you very much for giving us five minutes to chat about this garden. No problem. Um, if you could just introduce yourself for the, the people at home watching. And yeah, cool. I'm Paul Pritchard. Um, run a landscape design business, and yeah, I've been in construction for 30 years as well, but just... Um, finished up and concentrating on design now. So, so you used to be design and construct? That's right, yeah. Yep. Yeah, did that for 30 years. Um, last 12 months, yeah, got rid of construction. Best move we've ever done. So did you have staff? I had up to 10 staff. Yep, and they just rehomed? Yeah, just, um, yeah, went out yep. and about, interstate, all that sort of thing. Yep. And, yeah. I don't think being an unemployed landscaper in the last 12 months was going to be a big problem for anyone. Not at all. No, yeah. no, it was easy enough to find. So you did the industry so. of service? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I was helping all, Here's all these, know, all these guys out. That's right. Yeah. So yeah, it's been yeah, and it's been really good since. And so design full time. Were you almost doing enough design work that I was? I've been designing for years and years, yep. and we we used to build our own stuff, obviously. Yep. And then any spillover, we'd give out to other contractors. But um, yeah, it's got to a point now. You know, it, it just keeps me going full time. Um, yep. Hoping to expand that business as well now. So. And then remove the stresses of site, rain, client. 
everything. Yeah, supply it's, delays. But, uh, the shoulders have just lifted. You know, it's been amazing. Um, yep. the, the difference it's given me freed up my time so much as well. So, so you can actually work a work week effectively, or whatever. Pretty whatever much. That yeah, looks you like can just work whatever later. times you want a day off. You know, yeah. off I go. So yeah. yeah, it's been really good. So tell me about this. You've obviously yeah. is this your first one that you've designed? This is our first one. Yep. Yeah. So really loved the whole process. You know, it's been fantastic. Um, had you know great support from everyone. Um, Adam was just amazing, he and his crew, yep. and yeah, so, but yeah, we've loved it, and I'm really happy with the outcome. So did you have a relationship with Adam? That we did, you yeah. You feed him so, work now, or yeah. not feed him work, but he kind of does a lot of your work with That's your, right, yeah, design. he's been feeding Adam work for a number of years yep. now, Even so. before you were off the That's right, system, yeah, so yeah. So yeah, it's good, yeah, we've got a good little system going with him, and a few other landscapers as well, yep. so. And yeah. so you'll do it again? Um, it's, that's a million dollar question at the moment. I, I mean, I, if you had a million I'm, dollars cash, you'd do it again. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> no, I will definitely do it again. I yeah. loved it. it was, it's been fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah. I guess it's like from a, you guys are probably, I mean, you don't have to go into detail, but if you're taking 50, 50 costs on it, yeah. then all, the design side, it's whether or not you're going to get that return on investment from a that's design right. standpoint, right? And we won't know that for a few months, I don't think. Yeah. But, um, yeah, you'd like to think you will. At least it's getting my name out there a bit as well. So, is it um, fair to say that if you care about the return on investment, you probably shouldn't do it? Pretty much, yeah. I think for me, it's always something I've had in the back of my mind that you know I, I want yep. to do something in Mifkas, um, and and now's the time. Yeah. Um, purely because I am design only now, so yep. I'll sort of well, let's do it. I'm getting older as well, so you know time's running out. So. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds so Get onto it. Yeah, it does sound so, morbid. Talk to me about the design itself. Obviously, um, the one thing I noticed last night was this water feature. Um, yeah. What was the like? Talk me through your design process. What were you thinking like? So, because we're on a sloping site, it, you know, levels are a big thing. Yep. Um, it's called te tectonic fluidity. Um, so I'm sort of I wanted to work with those tectonic plates and all that sort of yep. thing. Um, hence the level changes and stuff water running down beside the paved area all that sort of stuff you know it gives that vibe of that you know, infinity edge almost but it's yeah that vibe of you know tectonic plates and so forth but then the fluidity comes with the water obviously and with that you know that plant movement the the softening of those plates you know within that sort of space so yeah that's where it all sort of derived from the some of the gardens you see the plant life is very diverse Yes. Um, were you conscious not to get too crazy in a small space? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I think go minimal with, within that small zone, but just mass planted. Yep. Um, my palette is just a lot of colour, a lot of flower, a lot of movement. So that's what I sort of create in my gardens. And that's you, what I tried to... So yeah. you've got a signature, you think? You think um, like your plant selection signature in a way with your designs? Yeah, pretty much. I love my selvias, love my penstemons, um, agastaches, all, all of a sudden one of my favourite plants. So, yeah, yeah um, for me it's just colour, movement and, you know, creating those levels and stuff. Um, you can see the bees flying around at the moment. That's what we're trying to get, you know, get those insects in, get all yep. that sort of stuff happening as well. So, yeah, it's cool. Um, what, was, what, what, what were some of the biggest challenges that you've had to deal with. with oh, the look, there was a lot of nervous, nervous moments um, bringing in that pond. There's a lot of weight on, you know, within that pond. So the, the base below had to be, you know, spot on. Because obviously if it moves, it, it's not in line it with- It moves, everything moves. Yeah, that, there's water falling off all edges evenly. That's right, yeah. yeah. Um, steel pergola, you know, all welded on site. That was, that was a big deal, so- And then the what, paint, it, to paint the welds on site and- all painted on yeah. site, yeah. So, um, yeah, there was a lot of challenges. The level changes are the most. Yeah. Is there anything you'd do differently with this build if you had another two days or if you had to build it again next week? No, I think we're really happy with it. We um, we finished with probably half a day to spare. Yep. So, yeah, we're really happy with, you know, how it all finished up and, and the outcome. So, yeah, no, and it was good. Have you been able to stand back and listen to people's comments? I, I, I think that would be one of the most interesting things if they don't know one who of you the are. Greatest things ever, yeah. yeah. Um, so diverse as well. Yeah, yeah, we're getting plenty of comments on the chandelier. You know, um, you know, great comments, and the yep. other ones are just why would you put a horrible. chandelier? Yeah, you know, why is there a chandelier? <laughs> who would put a chandelier in here? But that's classic. Yeah, yeah. it's brilliant to listen to. I think if you've got, I mean, obviously, I don't know if this is the best way to put it, but. Anyone that's in a position to be able to build a garden here um, is open. They're probably more mature. 
So yeah. getting feedback, positive or negative, is not going to send them home crying, right? It's water off a duck's back, yeah. We had the same conversation with Joel from InStyle. He's like, yeah. I built this for me. Yeah, that's This right. isn't about what other people think of it. It's nice to hear positive stuff, especially from people who you respect. If yeah, they talk about your plant work. selection or, you know, the construction or the design, but ultimately it's for you. That's right. Absolutely. No, I agree wholeheartedly with that. Yeah, no, you know, it, it, it goes to interpretation of, you know, what people want, what they like. You know, not everyone likes our... So you know, chandeliers, our that's just something you were just like, I'm putting a chandelier in? Pretty much started with a chandelier as well. I that think. was the yeah. first... I think that was, yeah, I just wanted that romantic feel of a chandelier and it just went from there. Yeah. yeah. Look, I'd never put it in my house. There's no chance. But that's not what this is, right? It's not what it's about. Push yeah. the boundaries. Yeah, and I guess there's what's the only thing worse than being talked about is not being talked about. Pretty People much. talking about the channel, yeah. they're talking about that. So. Good media, good media. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, so that's, that's awesome. Thank you so much for um, having a chat with us.